In this review we are not only going to review three of the most interesting portable DAC available today, but I will show you also how to connect the iFi Gryphon if you are ready have it to your two-channel stereo. Plus, I will give you five reasons why you should buy one of these instead expensive DAC. So let's do it. We already reviewed the Hype Deck 2 and we also compared it with the previous model, the Hype Deck 1. Review available in descriptions, take a look for more details. And there is no secret that the Hype Deck 2 is one of my favorite product of 2022 and every time they ask me Matt how should I pair it for example the Sennheiser HD 800S well HipDuck 2 is affordable and is smooth and warm and sound really beautiful but before to jump in the review let's take a quick look on the iFi web page regarding the three products that I'm going to review today moving on tools you have the possibility to compare all iFi products and from a quick look, we can see that the Hype Deck and the Gryphon are battery powered portable device. So this means that the Go Bar is just a dongle. You will not need to recharge it, something that, yes, make it probably very, very useful and unique. All three are coming with single ended and balanced output for headphones, so 3.5 and 4.4 mm, with support of MQA and DSD. A big difference also in the retail price, unfortunately is that the Gryphon have also a Bluetooth 5.1 capability, but we will see it later. All three devices mounted high-end components and the iFi website is really well done. So to avoid to make this video really too long, you will find in the descriptions all the three links for more details. GoBar, HipDuck 2 and Gryphon are coming in a beautiful looking box with accessories that includes leather travel cases for the GoBar and velour for the Gryphons. Unfortunately, no case for the HipDeck 2, but it's possible to purchase it separately. And you will need to purchase separately also a data cable or USB-C lightning adapter in case you want to pair the HipDeck 2 with the iPhone. Something that with the Gryphon and GoBar is already inside the box. So yes, Gryphon and GoBar from accessories point of view are more complete, but the HipDeck 2, it has a retail price that is really affordable. Anyway, under iFi cables, you can find everything you need. Regarding portability, of course, the winner, it will be GoBar. You will not need to charge it and it's so small and light that will be just a part of your headphones cable. Regarding sound quality, we are a step down compared to the Hip Deck 2, in my opinion. But if portability is your priority, then this is probably one of the powerful dongles available today. Regarding Hip Deck 2 and Gryphon, we are almost on the same size. Of course, Gryphon is slightly bigger, slightly heavier, but we are there. Beautiful aluminum case for both. I really like how they look. And on the bottom of the Gryphon, we can find also four fits to use it as desktop deck. Something that really impressed me, but we'll speak about it just in a moment later. So how I use them? I generally use the balanced connections. So it's really nice when you connect a Pentagon balance cable, so you have this feeling that you are breaking something, right? Ah, but just push it to the end and don't worry about it. It will give you uh, more power for sure, something like 3 dB. And if you have headphones that are coming with XLR, just purchase something like that. It's an adapter 4.4 to 4 pin XLR. And what if you don't have a balance headphones? Well, don't worry about it and just use the single ended jack output. GoBar is really easy to use it. As soon as you connect it with the USB cables, it will be automatically recognized from your smartphone. Plus and minus for volumes ups and down. And here we can find the IM match for adjust the sensitivity in case you are using the IAM. So it will give you less power on the single ended and on the balance cables. Otherwise, just let it in the middle. In the end, with this last button, we have also the possibility to give extra boost for the bass or enable the X space. Something that I really enjoy because it has a sound quality that is slightly dry. So I generally use it with uh, X space enabled. Moving on hip deck is pretty the same. The only thing is that we have to turn it on from the volume knobs. Here I am match is called power match and we have only X base. X base that as we saw in the review of the hip deck 2 is in my opinion too aggressive is giving you on the bass something like 10 dB, that is in my opinion too much. But if you are a bass head lover then you will really appreciate it. 
And in the end, the beautiful Gryphon that had some extra features, like the possibility to choose the input between Bluetooth line or USB and place with filter. I will not go too deep with the filters. I generally use the standard one, but feel free to experiment. I love the LED display. It's bright, you have the possibility to change the directions of it and will give you all the information that you need, like volume level, battery status, and the format that is reading. Sensitivity match also available on the bottom. Remember to let it in the middle if you are using headphones, because I had it also on uh, 3.5, something like that, and I had less power, and I was thinking about, hey, what's going on here? So don't forget to let it on off if you are using headphones. So here go bar is the winner of course it will probably hit a little bit of your smartphone battery but that's something normal really beautiful you don't have to remember to charge it or you want more hip deck 2 i tested with the sennheiser 660s so 300 ohm impedance headphones and with all enable x base x base standard filter i was able to listen to music for 8.5 hours so in my opinion, it's pretty good, right? What you think about it? Just let me know in the comments. With Gryphon a little bit better, also with the same 660S, X-Space enable and volume at 85, that is pretty moderate, uh, that I consider it not very high, but high, moderate, something like that. I was able to listen to music for 10 hours. So 1.5 hours more than the hip tech too. Plus I tested also with Dan Clark Ions that has a very low impedance, and it's a headphone set like to hit a lot of current and I listen to music through the Gryphons for about six hours. So I think it's a really good results. All three are run really cool. They are never warm. And if you are looking for something that could probably use it like uh, heaters in winter for your pocket, I'm really sorry to disappoint you. How much power they have? They are enough for our headphones as usual. I tested with the Sennheiser 660S 300 ohm impedance. I tested with Dan Clark Aeons and the iFi Man HE6 that we know that is really hard to drive, right? And I have to say that I was really impressed from the Go Bar. I really didn't expect so much power for a dongle it with the Sennheiser 300 ohm and also with the Sundara, I was able to push it at pretty high volumes. If you have something like the Editions XS, probably I will move to the hip deck too, because it will need a slightly more amount of power to really enjoy to take the best from it. Moving on the Gryphon, I was actually able to drive also the HE6 and I was surprised that I pushed it to 106 turbo mode, something that I don't know why they call it like that, but it's funny, right? I like to, you go to turbo mode and this volume knobs becomes red. Of course, I didn't get all the dynamic that I was need for the HE6, they require really more power, but was not bad, was not bad. I really enjoyed it and I was listening to music for so much times and surprising actually that I didn't got any distortions also at max volumes. Surprise, surprise, mother so let's start with the Go Bar Sun Quiet. I will describe it like neutrals and pretty flat and dry. It's never aggressive and doesn't have any emphasizations in any frequency range. Sound is reproduced without colorations with a decent imaging and sound stage. Yes, probably flat is the right word to describe the Go Bar. You don't have this feeling of a huge sound stage or head stage. That is actually nothing negative if paired with the right headphones. Two beautiful examples of headphones that I enjoy with the Go Bar are the Sennheiser 560S and the Sundara. Two headphones that are actually hard to drive correctly with a standard dongle cables adapter. So don't tell me that something like this, like the Go Bar, is unnecessary. Why we need a headphones amp? Just try and let me know. Moving on the hip deck, everything become bigger, wider and punchy. Bass is warm with a good slam, mid-range is smooth and clear and never. I got the feeling that anything is congested. It has an airy treble that surrounding instruments and vocals like any portable ducks can do. 
is a duct that doesn't have fear or any hesitations and these smooth and warm sound signatures make it actually a perfect partner for any headphones. And I really can't believe that it's coming with a so highly affordable price. Review available in the description, don't forget about it for more details. Moving on Gryphons, well that's a different animal, but more expensive doesn't actually mean that I prefer this type of sounds and let me break it down actually. If Hip Deck 2 is warm and smooth, Gryphon is a micro details animal, it's more technical, transparent and resolving, especially when it comes to reveal any nuance in any single track. So if you are a ultra textures high resolution slower, this is the duck for you. Gryphon Timber is neutral with a low end full of textures and a hairy high end. They provide clarity and salt to any track. Oh god, I know, what, what I have to say, what this guy did, man. Anyway, I was impressed from the ultra wide soundstage that is also ultra deep and tridimensional. If Hip Deck 2 has a good imaging, well. The Gryphon is great. My favorite setup is Gryphon combined with the Focal Utopia. I found that this is just a killer setup. I also paired with the Sennheiser 800S, but I found that the Sennheiser 800S is probably too much analytical for the Gryphons and actually I prefer it with the Hip Tech too. Something that I also noticed is the noise floor. Push it to the limits, the Gryphons is just pitch black, where the Hip Deck 2 is slightly more noisy, especially at high volumes and with headphones that are more bright. So I told you at the beginning of the video that I test the Gryphon in my two channel stereo system and I compared the Bluetooth DAC with the Rotel A11 Tribut and the Cambridge Audio CX81. But before to move and tell you how it was performing, let's actually take a look of what you need to connect the Gryphons and of course how to do it. On the back panel of the Gryphons we have the possibility to use the balance 4.4 line input output and single and 3.5 input output connections. This means that when the input mode is USB, Bluetooth or SPDIF we will get a variable output. This actually means that every connection that act as input and as output. So depending from what you are going to select. As connections I use this 4.4 to XLR cable. Here I have to say something, if you purchase these cables from iFi it will cost you something like 100 bucks. That's so much, in my opinion. No way that I'm going to spend so much for this type of cables, but looking on eBay I was able to find it for 25 bucks. That is, in my opinion, still a lot, but better than 100 for sure. So connect the 4.4 mm to the balance output of your iFi Gryphons and next you have to wait for the Rotel A11 that doesn't have XLR input I yet to use some XLR RCA adapter. But moving on the Cambridge Audio CX81 that in this case have a XLR input I was able to connect it directly without the RCA adapter. Next turn on your Gryphons and select Bluetooth and after the pairing with your smartphone and tablet LDAC Uptex Classic. And that's it really, really so simple. I let the Gryphons at 100, don't ask me why, I found that 100 was, was fine. And just stream the music through your smartphone with Koboots, Tidal, Spotify, whatever you want. But how it sounds? Well, compared it to the Bluetooth of the Rotel AF, wow, night and day difference. I got a sort of blur because I was pairing the Rotel with the triangles and the sounds, Bluetooth, I mean of the Rotel AF, don't get me wrong, is okay. It's, it's nothing special but it's okay. But moving on the Gryphons, phew, no, no story. This Bluetooth 5.1 is a killer, is the best Bluetooth device that I never tried. Everything was more clear and clean and took actually the Rotel A11 to the next level, so a huge improvement. Moving on the Cambridge Audio CX81 that already have a good quality Bluetooth. Problem of the CX81 as we will see very soon in the review is that sometimes I'm moving with my smartphone in my house and I just losing connections. So the CX81 has a very short range. So that was absolutely the first improvement. Second one, I was impressed from how much clear was the soundstage. 
I got a better imaging, a more articulated base, and overall more deepness. Where the CX81 is tend to pushing a little bit too much, in my opinion, voices and instruments, I don't want to say in your face, but almost, the Gryphon is more balanced, natural, and have a cleaner overall presentation. I definitely was really happy about it. So we have a superb headphones amplifier, a portable headphone DAC, a high-end DAC for your two-channel system, a streamer with one of the best Bluetooth capability available today. And if you consider all these points, well, then it's really worth the money. So in the end, if you are looking for one of the most powerful dongle available today with a great portability, Gobar is the device for you. And in my opinion, try to choose a headphones that is not too much uh, dry, maybe with some top entities energetic, maybe the 560S from Sennheiser. It's a great pairing, I find mentioned Sundara. And I tested also actually with the Mesa 109 Pro review available in descriptions. And I think that these three are perfect for the Gobar. Next, the hip deck is a best buy in his category. I just love it, you know it guys already. And his warm and smooth sound signature make it the perfect partner for any headphones. And in the end, Gryphon that is, I will call it probably all in one, that is able to doing everything in just a gorgeous, great way. So guys, that was my review. I hope you enjoy it. Please subscribe to the channels and hit the like button if you want to support. And if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. From Audio is everything. Peace.